five o'clock. It's too early, bye. End of video. I'm dying. There's just no way I'm waking up at 5 a.m. without coffee. I try to have it only once a week. But there's just no way. There's just no way. Hello everyone, my name is Troy and welcome back to my channel. So, it is like 6.30. I'm usually like just getting out of bed at this time, but today is a monumental day because I'm taking the pre-ACT. And basically this is like a practice test for the ACT and it's like mandated by our school, but I thought it was kind of like an exciting day to vlog because I haven't really been back to my school in like a year. So it's gonna be interesting. And then afterwards I have like the rest of the day, the rest of the day off. So like I'll be back by 11 o'clock and then I can do some homework, get some reading done and I have some other stuff planned. So it's going to be a fun day overall you guys cannot like see my eyebrows so there we go it's gonna be a long test though like i'll get there at like 7 30 we're leaving in like five minutes and then i won't be back until like 11 but like i said i'm so cool with it because as soon as i get home i'm done uh i'm not gonna take you guys in the car or anything but i'll be back later and i'll tell you guys about it so see ya leave a like have a comment in the comments I'm back and I bear gifts. They gave us little like goodie bags at the end, pretty sanitized because of like the bag. And then we have some Smarties and Jolly Ranchers in there as well. And speaking of like little goodie bags, my mom for Valentine's Day, we got some gummy bears that I've been eating that are like Valentine's flavored. Oh, one just fell. And then we also have some Skittles. Usually like tests are like, oh, you have 90 minutes to complete the whole test or whatever, or you have 90 minutes to complete this whole section, but it's really like fast paced. Like you have like 60 minutes and like you have to answer them really fast paced too. So it's like, you don't really ever have time to just like read a book and i was like oh shoot i forgot to bring a book like for when i'm finished with the test but it's like i never had any free time it was like um boom i finished all the questions boom go on to the next one finish all the questions boom like and i didn't even have time to answer some of the questions so the act i need to like develop like time management strategies because i definitely was going too slow like there's definitely like pacing issues and like i need to figure that out but overall i thought the questions were pretty simple and i did have a good time overall it was a good experience and then like sometimes like i started to feel like nostalgia about school like sometimes like after we we're all done we we're just chatting and it felt normal except we were all socially distanced of course but like even though i have signed up for virtual learning and stuff it's just like mm, i'm never really gonna get a full year of high school in my entire life which is gonna be weird that's like my overall thoughts it was a great time like i was it was fun being able to see some people in person there were some new students at our school that i haven't really seen in person before so i'm that one person that likes doing tests for some reason and yeah i'm going to transition now i'm gonna probably just change my clothes like and get myself prepared for the second half of the day which is i have a checklist of like 
possible things that I could do today. I have Bloodleaf, um, which is a book that I'm reading, and I'll talk about it later. Deceiver's Heart, which is another audiobook that I'm reading. Smoothie, I'm gonna make a smoothie for lunch. Homework, uh, and self-care. I think I wanna take a bath, because I haven't taken a bath in like a year. First, I just wanna do a quick time lapse of my homework. I just wanna get it done. I just wanna get it done, so that I can work on my self-care, reading, smoothie, I have to work on a video too, so let's, let's get into it. Unrelated, but my mom got me this sweatshirt for Valentine's Day, and it's champion, and I think it's really cute. It's like oversized, so it's comfortable. Anyways, I'm gonna do my work now. Uh oh, there's like a there's like a little thing. You know, like the little things in the clothing. Ew. I don't know if y'all can see me well. All right, cool. So I just finished my computer programming work. It only took me 30 minutes when I thought I was gonna take me an hour. You know when it's like really satisfying when you like finish something, you think it's gonna take you longer than it actually takes. And it's like, ooh, I just did that. I just did that. Hey, so yeah, I just finished some notes and then I did a quiz for my computer programming. And now I have one more class to do, which is math, which I'll do after I eat. I wanna kind of tell you guys about my reading because we haven't done any reading today and this is supposed to be a reading vlog, so. Let's jump into it. Right now, I'm 66% through The Deceiver's Heart by Jennifer A. Nielsen, which I'll probably pop up on screen. This book is the worst book I've read by far this year. It is absolutely trash. Some content of it is like good and I wanna keep reading it, but like the majority is bad, but I just, I wanna read this series just for the fact that it's bad and I think I need to let myself be open to more bad books and like recognize what's bad. Like I need to really read bad books so I can, adapt that mindset to, I don't know what I'm saying, but like I need to be able to know what a bad book is and how to recognize signs that a book is a bad book for the future. So I'm doing that right now. Um, it's not like the most boring thing ever and I have it on 2.75 speed, which I don't usually do, but that's because it's just boring. You know what I mean? I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna read The Deceiver's Heart. I'm gonna make a smoothie and I will probably Listen to the audiobook for about 45 minutes, 123, so I can get through two hours if I listen for 45 minutes, so I'm just gonna listen for 45 minutes while I make a smoothie. See you guys later, and then we'll continue on with the stuff that I had on my to-do list, but we are crushing it right now, crushing the day. Oh my god, what perfect timing. My chapter for my audiobook ended right as I was setting up the shot. Gotta love those moments in my life, but sorry, I was cold. I had to, take, I had to bring a jacket because I went outside and I was like, oh, it's cold, it's cold. Anyways, um, I just made a smoothie, as you guys saw, and I just came upstairs like right after I made it and it is now 1.10. So I listened to my audiobook for about 50 minutes and I only have Wow, I only have 
85 more minutes of the audiobook left, so I'll definitely be able to finish that today. Because if you divide 85 by my speed of my audiobook, which is 2.75, that is only 30 minutes left um, of actual listening, and that's going to be great. But yeah, I made a smoothie so that I could work on my math homework. I have four little math assignments that I have to do. I'll be done with schoolwork for the day, and I can chill uh, for the rest of it. So yeah, I'm going to just do another time lapse. Uh, the book is actually, it wasn't bad. Like this portion was pretty full of action, a little bit of some twists, and definitely a lot of emotion. So I don't know. I, I feel like if the ending is really strong, it'll bring back my rating up. But right now, it's just like, it's I don't know, something about this book is so cliche to me, overused, the romance is like way too overpassionate for the characters that we're set with, and it's just confusing, there's so much stuff going on, and the author doesn't really raise the stakes enough to make it that important to know all this stuff, so yeah. Anyways, let's just get into a time lapse, because I want to get my schoolwork done so I can be free! Let's get to work! We can officially cross schoolwork off of my to-do list. Now all I need to do is finish a video. I have it almost completely edited. I just need to export it. Do a thumbnail and then that should be good to go out later today. What else? Oh, and then I wanted to take a bath. And I feel like it would be relaxing after such a long day. And then like I'll have gone out of like the work sense and get more into the relax reading, spending more time for myself. But yeah, the homework kind of killed me, but I got it done. It only took about like an hour and now it's 2.15. I have the rest of the day pretty much for all my hobbies and stuff. So I'll let you guys know how it goes, but I'm not going to really vlog as much of the, the technical stuff that I'm doing right now. Okay. I just took a thumbnail. I was like, and then my video, I don't know if you can see that over there, it is exporting, so. All is good, I'm gonna be doing my thumbnail, um, get the video ready, and then I'll be able to be finished with all my worky, worky stuff, and I can transition to my relax mode, as I said, so. Just wanted to give you guys an update. It's three o'clock. Hopefully it'll be done by everything at 3.45. Fingers crossed. Okay, as I predicted, um, I always, like, do something before I start talking. <laughs> I just noticed that about, like, all my videos. I finished the thumbnail, finished the video, it's all scheduled, and I'm going to upload it at 4.45. It's 3.45 right now, so got everything done as I planned to get it done. I'm gonna do my bath, then probably do, like, a little skincare routine. I have the rest of the night to just chill. I have, like, five hours to just chill out. It's gonna be great, so, yeah, let's, let's go. Welcome to my bathtub. You can see my toilet. Maybe I'll close the lid to be professional. I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't know why I'm filming it, but welcome. It's crystal, beautiful, not really. Oh my goodness, y'all, that was so relaxing. Like, I want to be quiet right now. I'm so relaxed. So I want to do this ASMR style. I'm just kidding. Anyways, I always take, I take showers like every single morning. I'm not having like actually like sat in a bath for like maybe more than 20 months. And that was solid. I was able to get my skincare routine. It was just relaxing in general. I feel like my mind is just open to new ideas, new possibilities. So yeah, that really just align myself on the right track for the rest of the day. I have about 15 minutes to um, until my video releases that I was talking about earlier and that I showed you guys and I'm going to get about 13 or 14 minutes of audiobook listening in before that. I have literally, like I said, 30 minutes of, of that audiobook left. So I'm going to finish that as my priority for this next like hour while I respond to comments and all that stuff. And I'll tell you guys when I finish and maybe I'll do a comment montage. I'm not sure. We'll see. So yeah, bye y'all. 
Ooh, this lighting is weird. It's, I feel like I have a shadow. Anyways, it's about 6 o'clock p.m. I just finished dinner, and I have an ice cream cone, like a little drumstick. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. And I'm gonna finish up my audiobook. I have about, like, 15, 20 minutes left. And then I'll go inside and talk to you guys about what I thought. But, yeah. Let's go finish another book for the month. Woo! I just finished the... I keep for these titles are so forgettable. The Deceiver's Heart by Jennifer A. Nielsen. And I'll put that right there while I talk about it. Do my final thoughts, my wrap up, if you will. But, um, and like the main thing I have to say is that I love this book and I hate this book. I hate this book and I love it. I love it. I hate it. I can't understand my thoughts about it. It's like, oh my gosh, like there's so many good creativity and originality and just like plot twists and characters and like a lot of good like content that I enjoy reading from. It, I have to speed it up. It's a little bit boring, but I enjoy it. But then there's that side where it is boring, unentertaining. There's some cliche plot twists. There's just so much stuff that I don't understand. And I don't get and like I just don't like or the stakes aren't high enough. So it's just like there's all this constant like battle in my head. I don't even know how I would review this series. There were some definite twists. There were some definite new characters introduced. Like just overall, I liked it. It's just there's those annoyances within it. You know what I mean? It's like I liked it, but th there's those annoying things. So like if I had to rate this book, I just rate it three, like three stars. Like I, I didn't, I didn't love it, love it, love it, love it. I didn't hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. But like, I'm just so in the middle about it. Like I'm just so in the middle. I feel like that was just a rant, but like, I really don't know with this book. Anyways, now that that book is over, I'm going to continue the third book though tomorrow. Um, I'm going to be reading Blood Leaf by Crystal Smith. Don't have anything else to do for the rest of the day. So I'm going to alternate between watching some YouTube because I haven't been able to do that recently because of my busyness and then finishing up the last 140-ish pages of this book of Blood Leaf by Crystal Smith. This book is going very, very good. It basically has a lot of like twists, a lot of action. It's almost kind of like the Traders Game series, but better. <laughs> and you guys can see my studio light in the background. That's so funny. Anyways, it's almost like a better version. I don't know, it's just, it's it's interesting. I'm really liking it and I'll tell you guys more about it like in my wrap up and stuff, but it's about magic, about witch hunters, tribunals, two countries out like in fighting and then a bunch of twists and characters posing as other characters and backstabs and betrayals and whoo, I am signed up for this. Anyways, I think I'm gonna try to get to page 300. I think that's my goal. I'm on 238, I wanna get to 300. So yeah, we'll see what I can do. I might time lapse it. Oh my goodness, that was a long reading session. There we go, the light's turning off. Anyways, um, <clears throat> now it looks super blue, but I just did a reading session of Blood Leaf by Crystal Smith, as you saw, and I am actually making quite a lot of progress. I read 80 pages, so I'm now on page 315, which is much higher than my goal for 300 so i'm really proud about that i got to part three and just this book never stops this book never stops it's totally a five star for me because it's just so much action there's so much like death and like spirits magic um betrayals like backstabbings characters leaving and dying and you know there's just so much going on in this book and the mysteries and the twists they never stop they never ever ever stop some of the twists aren't like huge 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 or like gave me like a huge shock but just the amount of twists the amount of plot devices that crystal smith uses is just incredible so overall oh my gosh i'm loving this book i hope i can finish it by the end of the day i have only 60 more pages left and that'll be very instrumental for me to get going on my tbr i need to read some of my arcs want to watch some youtube because i haven't really watched any tv or anything today and i feel like i deserve it because i worked a lot today i got a lot of done i got a whole book done i almost finished another book i'm being so productive so i deserve it i'll talk to you guys later thank you so much and yeah i don't know why i said thank you thank you for what <laughs> thank you for being here okay so this is like my second time recording the outro because the audio did not work yesterday and yet i realized when i was editing i was like oop the audio is wrong so anyways i just want to make this blunt and short because i know how long this vlog is i've been editing it so blood leaf by crystal smith absolutely loved it smashed it out of the park read the whole thing like i said i was going to and yeah it definitely was a five star for me so so excited 
that I have been blessed with this story because it, it's just like the plot devices and some of the stuff that I'll talk about in my like wrap ups and my reviews and stuff of this book like mm, just it, it just hits different on a different level with all like the plot elements. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, I want to make this short so make sure to leave a like. It really helps to support my channel. Subscribe down below if you haven't already because why not join the fam? We're getting close to 2,000 subscribers. Also make sure to comment down below what you thought of this vlog. Um, I've been very busy so I've been only been able to get to like 50% of the comments so I'm sorry about that guys. I'm really 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 sorry and to make sure to leave that um check out this video that i'll leave up there but yeah see you guys later thank you so much for watching and this was a cool vlog so i hope you enjoyed it so yeah bye